everybody and welcome back to the channel so um i got paid today um i paid all the direct debits i could early yeah the only one i can't pay early is my phone but that'll come off in its own time um so i paid all the ones i can early i paid mum back for my nails if anybody said anything um actually was at work and broke my nail uh, so I asked mum if I could borrow the money to go and get them fixed um, I got shorter ones this time, they are very cute I must say but yeah, paid mum back for my nails, gave her extra, put fuel in the car <laughs> and then because I'm starting my proper budget in throughout the week and taking you guys on that journey from Monday um, I decided that I was going to go to the shop anyway, get some bits and bobs for the weekend to get me through the month. Some I need, some are just for enjoyment, you know, it's all, it's all mixed. But this was just things off the top of my head that I knew I would need, I was going to want. And that I would end up probably going out and spending money for on the day and end up wasting it. So I went to Asda, just a quick 10 minutes, just tried to be logical and think like I'm probably going to want this like I've wanted this for however long this is my go-to snack or something like that um as I said it's not very logical or anything like that now it did all I got mum stuff as well <coughs> and some things that I need so it all came out at like 69 pounds something I think um but you will see me getting pretty much all of it in yesterday's day in the life video but I just wanted to go through it a little bit to just explain and just go over some of it with you because I know myself uh, and my ADHD that money burns a hole in my pocket when I get money I like to spend it but I try to be logical with this because I didn't want to just be chucking money away willy-nilly I didn't want to be doing anything like that so I went in got stuff that I need and stuff that I knew would get me through the month. So the first thing I got was two new pack, two new sets of bras. But obviously, we don't want to be showing the bras on camera. And um, next thing I got is kind of heavy. It's a twenty-four pack of Coke. Um, this should last me all month, probably longer. Um, I got myself a bottle of diluting just as well, but that's downstairs. Um, it was berries and cherries. I love berries and cherries. Dilutin juice or squash. If you don't know what dilutin juice is, it's squash. Um, basically just really strong juice mixed with water. It's wonderful. I love it. So I got the berries and cherries juice and this um, for the month. So um, obviously from a health point of view, 24 pack of Coke isn't exactly very good. Um, I don't know what it is, but any diet juice I drink, I think it might be one of the ingredients, but I feel like I'm going to be sick after I drink it. I can drink them, but they do make me feel like I'm going to be sick, so I just tend not to. Um, but I mean, I do always try, like, for every, for every can of Coke I drink, I will try to drink a litre of water or a litre of diluting juice slash wash. In return, so it kind of evens out. So the next thing I got actually is um, an Eco Wick candle. Um, this one is peach berry bubbly. Um, I've already got another one, which I'm halfway through, which is purple berry and peony. Um, now that's it's going to sound weird to people, but this is a necessity for me. Uh, first of all, obviously I live in the country. So for whatever reason, if we have a random power cut, uh, which to be fair with it, I know it's I know it's only the end of August, but with us getting to that point in the year where the bad weather comes, I'm gonna be thankful for these. But for the most part, um, we lived in the Hillcrest house. It had total heat and with total control. If you've ever been in a full electric household with total heat and with total control, you will know it is useless. Um, I haven't had a heater on my wall for years. It just ran up the bill so much um and mum obviously has the log burning fire downstairs and we have the dyson 
fan slash heater thing that we got from my grand's. Um, so we used that downstairs, but I wanted a way to keep my room warm. And I love, love the sound of Woodwick candles. Sounds like a nice log burning fire. Can just sit back, relax and listen. Oh, it's lovely. So got the Woodwick, the Eco, Eco Wick Woodwick candles. Um, they're actually really good for keeping heat in my room. Um, for anybody worrying, I have CO2 alarms. Um, it is never burning for too long and without my presence. Um, if you can see, obviously, where I put it back, there is a lamp at the back there. Um, the candles are not lit near the lamp. Um, they get moved. Um, I just tend to sit them next to me. Oh, to be fair, I do pull them forward and they sit there quite the thing next to me. But for the most part, I do actually move them to kind of over where you guys are and my TV stand because there's nothing there that's flammable. So, yes. Um, the other thing I got was earphones. Um, they were not really a necessity to be honest but my last earphones died and the earphones are great to have for work um, just for listening to music being in the house so I don't disrupt my mum or anybody editing stuff like that they're great so got myself them they were only £14 to be fair um, my woodwick candle was 6 my headphones were 4 my earphones were 14 I can't remember if I said but yeah it came to about £69 but still so I got uh, six mini bags of Maryland cookies. Um, I'm not a big chocolate person, but when I am in the mood, cookies are perfect because, well, I can't even make it feel like through like a full bar of chocolate. I just, it's too much. I don't know why. I don't know why. I maybe ate myself sick of chocolate when I was younger. That would surprise me. Um, so I got lightly salted tortilla chips and some sour cream and chive dip. Obviously for nachos, just for having dippy dippies when I'm watching movies. Um, if I've, I, I don't know if I said it before, but if you know me, you'll know I am a car person. Potatoes in any form are my best friends. Chips, crisps, potatoes, mashed, roast, I don't care. I love them. I'm pasta. Oh, pasta. Um, so I know I'm a big snacker on crisps, so I've got the lightly salted bag. I mean, I just got a big bag so I could reseal it. Um, and then I got myself some strawberry starbursts. Um, so that's me just covered like all my sort of snacky moods. Um, obviously I'm not going to sit and eat all of them in one go. Uh, I don't think the cookie, well, mm, with how little I want um, chocolate, the cookies might actually last me a month. Um, the crisps won't, but for 90p out of Asda, I don't mind going and buying another one. And I might not want lightly salted next time, so that's why I only got the one pack. Um, but yeah, that's my snacks. So, you know, I've got Starburst in case I fancy a Chewy because, you know. So yeah, those snacks should last me about a month, um, at least. So that is wonderful. Um, the next stuff is kind of the boring necessities. We got toothpaste. Oh, what toothpaste did I grab? Max White Sparkled Diamonds plus 10 times longer lasting cooling. It was Colgate and it was a pound. It's toothpaste. Um, so I'm a big stationery person. Any type of stationery, I'm all up in it. Um, and I don't know if you have noticed, but not only am I a Disney fan and a, um, a, a mini fan, I, uh, I'm also a Grogu fan. Um, and if, if I had Chewbacca to hand, I had Chewbacca to hand you would see that I'm a Star Wars fan too. I have a Chewbacca. I think he's in the toy box at the bottom of the wardrobe. But yeah, so for the purposes of YouTube videos for taking notes on stuffs, um any ideas I have or anything, we got ourselves a little three pound book that says small but mighty because I am. Um and he's going Yay on the front and then on the back he's sitting there drinking his warm cup of tea. I'm going to say tea. Um, and the last thing I got is super, 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 super boring, but a necessity, shampoo and conditioner. And I'm currently on Garnier Honey something. 
Um, I can't remember exactly what one, if I'm being honest. So this time I got the Garnier Ultimate Blends Hair Food. Um, I got the Watermelon and Pomegranate Shampoo and Conditioner because it's for fine hair. I have fine hair. I love the smell of watermelon. Um, so there was no complaints there. And it's vegan. Ooh, we love that. So yes, that was my little boring haul and little bit of budgeting. Um, it wasn't really to be fair much of budgeting. Um, let me just pop this away. So yeah, that all came to fifty pounds. So that's my snacks and everything sorted for at night, uh, after work and whatnot throughout the month. So I am fine. There are other snacks and stuff that I will probably get. Um, on a mood basis but that's okay um, my house is pretty fully stocked so that's grand that's why I wasn't overly worried about spending £50 on getting myself snacks and things I need like the brads, the coke, my diluting juice, my earphones got my mum chocolate digestives and galaxy bars as well uh, because I'm a nice child like that so um i got all that and yeah it's i mean some of you may be thinking like seriously you just went out and spent half your first week's budget on that but yeah because now for the whole first week i can actually sit and plan what i'm going to do for the rest of the month um and i know that i've got snacks at home so I am fine. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm quite honest, I'm running out of things to say. But from Monday, I will be starting my budgeting stuff um, throughout the week and taking these on the journey. So do you want the week budgeting video to go up once a week or twice a week? Do you want some updates throughout? Do you want a little bit of it in each video? Do you want it done as shorts? Every day I can do it as a short every day. Um, let me know because I'm going to start that on Monday. So it'll let me know. So you guys enjoy. Have a, I'm just getting my camera thing up. There we go. Have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about the video ideas and how often you want them to follow along with my budgeting or whatever in the comments below. Um, I'm going to go finish editing yesterday's video for you guys um and get that up so i hope you have a lovely evening and i'll see you next time bye